Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video and today I have another unboxing. I just uploaded my June Fairy Loot unboxing. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link to it in the description down below so you can check it out. But today I have another very exciting unboxing and it is the Nerdy Post unboxing. Nerdy Post is an American company and I originally found out about Nerdy Post when I started following their Instagram, which is nerdy.post. Um, and I followed them because they did beautiful lettering and I love to see people do lettering. I'm just so fascinated by it because it always looks so simple, but when you do it on your own, it's just not possible. You really need to practice a lot. I found out that they have a monthly subscription box. I don't think that I will get their box that often, but this box is very special because this is their first year anniversary and usually they feature around I believe four to six items surrounding a theme and I believe that in this box because it's their one year anniversary box there will be 10 to 12 items. This box is also not expensive like at all. It's $14 the box itself and then you also have to pay for shipping and for me that was like $11 to the Netherlands from America to the Netherlands so this box cost me like $24, $25. So let's just open the box. Um, again, I got some scissors with me. I'm very excited. I really don't know what to expect. There are just gonna be so many fandoms. Let's open it. Ooh, okay. Let's have a look. Okay, so the first item that I see right here is Nerd Wix Salt Plus Burn. And this smells like apple pie, bourbon, and hellfire. Ooh, it smells very wintry. Definitely not something that I would like to burn in the summer. I think that these are like, um, how do you call them? Wax melts or something? Handmade soy candles and wax melts from Nerdwick Candles. Nerdwicks, I'm sorry. It smells really nice. I especially love the apple pie scent, but I don't know from which fandom this would be, but maybe there will be like um, a little card in the box. Okay, I definitely know that this is Stranger Things inspired. Okay, so this is a coaster, and I don't know what this is around it. Maybe just like a simple... I think it's an elastic? Is it? What is this? Is it inspired by something? I think that this is an elastic for your hair, or maybe a bracelet kind of thing. I don't know what this is, but I do know that this is definitely Stranger Things inspired. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. It says, friends don't lie on it. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's an ego. And who loves Eggos? Eleven. Eleven loves Eggos. I don't know by which this is inspired. Maybe Game of Thrones? Oh no, maybe it's Harry Potter. I think it's Harry Potter inspired because I see a wand on it right here. Wait, let's have a look. I think it's Harry Potter inspired because I see a wand and a sword. I think it's like an elastic for your hair maybe or a bracelet. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna grab out of here is a poster. I actually wanna leave this because I'm, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for a little bit later. The next item that I have here is a sticker. It says, Dear Courage Heart. And I have no clue what <laughs> what this is from. So, yeah, I'm doing so very well at, you know, deciding for which fandoms everything is. Okay, so here we have the nerdy postcard of the month and um, it has a ton of things on it that I can't really read. On this card you just have a lot of like quotes I think from from all the fandoms that are in here. I see Mischief Manage, I see That's What People Do, Search For Your Feelings, and all of these other things. Looks really cute so you can color that. Ooh, a bookmark! Oh, this feels really nice. This side of the bookmark is absolutely adorable. Makes me feel very summery and it says, this is your badness level. It's unusually high. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, you have a different kind of bookmark, and I'm gonna try and read this because, okay, let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. <laughs> I see another bookmark, which is really cute. It says, the world is not in your books and maps, it's out there. Oh, this side is adorable. It's on the other side of the bookmark. It says, I should infinitely prefer a book. This is absolutely amazing. <gasps> oh my god, this is amazing. Star Wars. Oh my god, the other side is pretty too, but I'm gonna show this first. Now be brave and don't look back. I love this. This is a jumbo bookmark, I think, but I would also use this as like a print to hang in my room. This is Princess Leia and I love Star Wars. I only started watching the movies two years ago, but I, I'm i absolutely obsessed. This is gorgeous. And then on the other side is also really pretty. It says, 
Chin up, shoulders back. Let's see what we're made of, you and I. This is absolutely stunning. I love both sides so very much. The first print that I see right here, it says, there's a million things I haven't done, just you wait. Where is this from? This is very, like a really well-known quote, but I don't know where it's from. Shame on me. And this is definitely Sherlock inspired. This is from like a Sherlock thing because it says 22 one. Baker Street, that's what I would say. Um, so yeah, very adorable. And I think that this is the card with all the items. I just dropped the box, but whatever. This is the card with all the items, and oh my god. I just have to figure out what it all says. The main thing on this card says, one more book, then I'll stop. One more page. And then I, I think that there's something on the red vine as well. But there was always another page after one and another after that. And another book waiting underneath the pile. I'll just take a quick peek to see what this one is about, he'd think, and before he knew it, he'd be halfway through it. So I haven't opened this one yet. I really want to be careful with this. I love prints in my little book nook. I'm trying to make like a whole wall full of prints. Now I have it. Let's open it. I hope that it's going to be stunning. It's very sturdy paper. It looks really good. Oh my god. When you can't run, you crawl, and when you can't do that, you find someone to carry you. Again, I don't know where this is from, but it's a gorgeous print. Oh my god, and the quality of the paper is really good. Okay, so I'm trying to figure things out. So, um, so this poster, the print is inspired by the show Firefly, which I've never seen, I've never heard of it, so... And then this print is inspired by Game of Thrones, which is a quote from Samwell, and I love Samwell. Samwell is adorable. This quote, I thought that it was from Hamilton, but I have never seen anything from Hamilton, but I've heard people talk about it. So this quote is from Hamilton, Hamilton, and this side is definitely inspired by Sherlock. And this side of this bookmark is inspired by Marvel. Uh, and it's from Iron Man. And then the other side is inspired by Disney. There's also like a little teeny tiny stitch on it, so very cute. Then I think that this side is inspired by Pride and Prejudice and the other side is inspired by Tolkien. Tolkien? Tolkien? I don't know how to pronounce his name. So then we have the fat bookmark and this side is inspired by Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who, although I've only watched until mid-season three and then the first three or four seasons were removed from Netflix and I cannot watch it, you know, I cannot just start watching season five even though I know that every single episode has its own story I just I can't I just need to watch the episodes in chronological orders and then the other side of course is Star Wars inspired great so the sticker is a quote from Narnia and I've never read Narnia I have seen like two movies maybe like five plus years ago so I really want to read the Narnia series though so I might buy the bind up ones. As we all knew this coaster is inspired by Stranger Things and the salt and burn uh, wax melts are inspired by Supernatural. I know that the actor who plays Dean in Gilmore Girls is also in Supernatural but I can't see it on Netflix here it's not available and yeah I was right so this is a bracelet and it's Harry Potter inspired and it's really really cute. Oh my god right now I even see like there's Quinn and there is an owl on it and is that the castle? I don't know. I can't really see it. So those were all the items that were featured in this June Nerdy Pose box. I'm a really, really big fan of everything. One of my favorite things is definitely Friends Don't Lie coaster inspired by Stranger Things. I love it so much. Definitely, I think, the Star Wars um, side of the fat bookmark, but I also really love this Doctor Who quote. So the theme for July is Alice in Wonderland and I'm not an Alice in Wonderland fan so I'm not gonna get that box but maybe in the future if they have a theme that I'm super interested in I might order the box another time but for now I'm just really happy with the items that I got right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. You can also follow me on all of my different other social media pages so I have Instagram, Snapchat, uh, I have Goodreads of course and you can also send me an email things you know information about that I will leave that in the description down below again thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye